We looked at the PKPD of vancomycin and determined the loading dose for vancomycin. We also used IDSA guidelines and population kinetics to determine an empiric vancomycin dose and frequency. We also selected an individualized vancomycin dose and frequency based on serum vancomycin levels. Now the next learning objective is given a patient on intermittent hemodialysis, recommend appropriate vancomycin dosing and monitoring. Intermittent hemodialysis typically removes about 30 to 40 percent of vancomycin in a full hemodialysis session which usually takes about four hours. Sometimes because of hemodynamic instability, hemodialysis sessions could be uh, terminated early. So if a hemodialysis session uh, lasts shorter, so let's say one hour, then uh, less amount of vancomycin will be removed. Now a lot of published protocols actually suggest to get the vancomycin level before dialysis and then assuming that the patient gets the full dialysis session, then you can actually uh, calculate and uh, say that 30 to 40 percent of it was removed and calculate what would be the trough after dialysis session. However, in clinical practice, uh, most clinicians actually get the vancomycin level after dialysis. Now the issue is uh, when should you get the vancomycin level after dialysis? Should it be immediately after hemodialysis or should you wait for a while? And this goes back to the two compartment uh, pharmacokinetic model of vancomycin. Because of t tissue redistribution phase, uh, it results in a 20 to 40 percent increase in plasma concentration. When vancomycin is administered, a good portion of it goes into the peripheral tissue. And the level that we get is actually from the central uh, compartment which is uh, circulation and when hemodialysis is complete hemodialysis is basically removing vancomycin from the central compartment so after so immediately after uh, completion of hemodialysis if you get a level it will show the level in the central uh, in the central compartment which is the blood which might be low however if you give it some time so about two to three hours vancomycin starts to come out of peripheral tissue to find equilibrium between uh, between blood and peripheral tissue. So therefore, if you get a level immediately after dialysis, the level could be artificially low and then, um, you know, three, uh, three hours later, the level goes back up. So it would not be a good idea to check the level immediately after dialysis. So it's recommended to wait approximately four to six hours after hemodialysis to wait for tissue redistribution to be complete and then get a uh, vancomycin level which would be a better indication of what the actual true level is in the patient. So your institution might have a protocol to get the vancomycin level four to six hours after completion of hemodialysis. However, majority of evidence is with getting a level pre-dialysis. So the 2020 ASHP IDSA guidelines say that uh, as hemodialysis membrane technology has improved over time, dialyzers have become far more permeable. So pretty much modern um, hemodialysis machines are basically high permeability dialysis. So they use high permeability membranes. So for patients receiving hemodialysis, the guideline recommends a loading dose of 25 milligram per kilo one time. And this is based on total body weight. And then they recommend a maintenance dose of 10 milligram per kilo thrice weekly, or this is three times per week. And this is because typically intermittent hemodialysis is done three times a week. So either Mondays, Wednesdays, and uh, Fridays, or Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are common. And uh, this maintenance dose is basically to give this after the dialysis is done. And they do uh, recommend getting a pre-dialysis instead of post-dialysis to get a pre-dialysis level and as long as this pre-dialysis so this is uh, right before hemodialysis is done if you get a level and it's 15 to 20 it's very likely to achieve an AUC of 400 to 600 in the previous 24 hours and then this dosing recommendations are just to start things then uh, you know at least the weekly vancomycin pre-dialysis level should be driving the subsequent dosing of vancomycin